It starts with uh, a, an encounter generally on the street or in a public place between the, uh, the offender and the victim. Quite often the victim already is very vulnerable for a number of different reasons. That vulnerability is exploited ruthlessly by the offender. Uh, quite often they will uh, develop a relationship as if they were a boyfriend and that very rapidly turns into something else and tragically quite often it turns into a situation where uh, the girls, and these tend to be girl victims, are uh, sexually exploited by uh, groups of men who are associated with the person they met first. So this is a horrific form of offending with all kinds of uh, often lifelong effects on the victims and it needs to be addressed. The research work that was done on this suggested that uh, roughly two-thirds of safeguarding children's boards don't appear to have the uh, processes in place that the national guidance says they should have to tackle this particular issue uh, and so what that identifies is that rapid action can be taken to improve the situation across the country. This kind of offending needs to be brought out of the dark. Too often it happens below the radar of public services and voluntary agencies. It needs to be exposed what it is. Uh, the people who commit it are often ruthless criminals and need to be brought to justice and there should be no hiding place for them. The victims have extraordinarily complex needs and they need uh, to be understood to be supported and helped through every stage of being rescued from the experience they're undergoing. And finally, for the agencies involved in protecting children, including the police, including children's services, under the banner of local safeguarding children's boards, people just have to work together to get this done because one agency working on their own won't do it.